In what definitely qualifies as one of the stranger stories of the new year, here we have in Pennsylvania, from the New York Times, Walmart employees discover pill bottles filled with live bed bugs inside the uh, changing room and the clothing sections of their Walmart. So we have the police investigating, um, have employees discovering these bed bugs, and they also found bed bugs just walking around um, the actual changing room itself in Washington Township, just 25 miles south of Erie. And so the police investigated, and they haven't um, discovered whether this was uh, somebody from you know, the general public or they sort of alluded to the idea that maybe it was a couple of Walmart employees playing pranks, although I don't know why anyone would play a prank like that unless they're just trying to get fired. Um, but it's, it's definitely a bit on the strange side. Now, it's not completely shocking because um, if you remember last year, we have people going into Walmarts and grocery stores and, um, you know, opening up tubs of ice cream and licking it and then putting it back on the shelf or people taking Listerine bottles, uh, gargling, rinsing their mouth out and then spitting it back into the bottle. So I don't understand why the police are so quick to blame this on Walmart employees, but, um, you know, I'll let everyone out there uh, consider for themselves the usefulness of the police. In a related, uh, in an unrelated but somewhat indirectly related story, we have an actress with a small role in Marriage Story on Netflix suing a cruise line for an alleged bed bug infestation. Yeah, you know, I've never been on a cruise myself. I, I was in the Navy, but that doesn't quite, uh, <laughs> you know, that doesn't that doesn't qualify for a cruise. But I've heard some really you know, bad things about cruises and uh, any place where there's uh, tight quarters, you have lots of bunks, it's very uh, transient, meaning there's always, you know, like a hotel room or a motel. Um, yeah, the uh, the risk of bed bugs goes up just, you know, dramatically. So here we have Connie Marie Flores on a cruise from Los Angeles to Mexico with her husband. Oh, and this is kind of um, funny here. She had a small part as arguing woman in Netflix uh, Oscar-nominated film Marriage Story. <laughs> um, so anyway, so they're suing the uh, the cruise line for at least seventy-five thousand dollars, and um, they're saying that they got devoured by bed bugs. Of course, the cruise line Princess Cruise Lines um, came out and said, "Well, you know, it's awfully strange that." You had bed bugs because we clean the rooms twice a day, so, you know, and then they can't really discuss further because, you know, they're in litigation or whatever, so they have to be careful with what they say in the public eye, but said that uh, this person took uh, video footage allegedly showing the bugs crawling around the sheets. So, you know, in situations like this, clearly uh, this person could have taken bed bugs with her onto the cruise line, um, or she could have, uh, you know, easily discovered bed bugs in her own room, and, um, you know, the cruise line is going to be very quick to try to dismiss any claims about it because this could really get out of hand, you know. This is uh, one of the problems with businesses is, is once, you, once you found bed bugs and established it, then everybody else can come out and say, you know, that it's like a uh, massive systemic problem in your business, so... But just how common are bed bugs anyway, since we're sort of looking? I mean, these are just news articles from this month. But um, it's kind of interesting to know where your city ranks on the bed bug hit list. And so can you guess? Can you guess who's the number one city for bed bugs? Drum roll, please. <laughs> it's Washington, D.C., of course, you know. The, uh, the nation's capital for all sorts of parasites and now bed bugs included. So you have Washington, D.C. as number one. Baltimore, which is only about 30 or 40 miles away, as number two. And uh, Baltimore held the title as number one for the last three years. Heaven on earth, let me tell you. Um, and then you have Chicago, L.A., and then Columbus, Ohio. 
and in my experience with uh, with bed bugs and just sort of reading these articles, that's it's very typical. Usually, you know, the most populated cities, and then Ohio for some reason. So let's take a look at some of the other top ten cities: New York, Detroit, and Atlanta. So yeah, um, not very many Texas cities. Dallas is on there, but not Houston, which is the fourth city, fourth biggest city in America. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's not your city, but so here's to look for, here's what you can look for if you want to see if you have bed bugs. Um, cause you know, you never know, you could get bit by fleas or a mosquito or a spider or, or who knows. Um, so you don't quite know if you have bed bugs or not. So there's three skin warning signs to watch out showing that you might've been bitten by bed bugs. And uh, most people out there, you know, if you've been bitten by bed bugs. But, you know, one of the telltale signs is a cluster of little uh, bites, but they, they have sort of like a reddish a reddish aura or sort of a reddish atmosphere around. So you'll get like a splotches of red with little bites, but they come in usu and usually clusters. Um, it also usually happens on your neck, your arms, legs, face. Any place that's exposed to the air while you're sleeping. Um, and you often don't know when it's happening. You often realize it the next day or oftentimes people don't realize it at all. They think it was something else. But um, normally bed bug bites are harmless. That's not always the case, but normally they're harmless. I've only read a couple of times where it was someone like a, a senior citizen who was already had some type of blood condition like anemia and so the bed bugs aggravated that but you know not to get too complacent here we have out of some uh, some medical journals and studies bed bugs can also transmit the Chagas disease which is um, normally found in Latin and South America as well as Mexico and um, it's just um, it's also known as kissing disease I do believe it can be fatal so it's not something to joke about but it is very rare to get it from bed bugs, though it is possible. So, just uh, just good things to know, um, information for you. Now, if you have bed bugs or you suspect you do, like me, I recently encountered bed bugs um, in the last six months. I was in Saint Petersburg, Russia, of all places, and um, I was sleeping. Gosh, what was it? It was like a a hotel, but it had sort of like a bed couch sort of deal pulled out, and it was a bit on the older side, you know, as far as furniture goes. And uh, I was really shocked because I've been pretty lucky my whole life not encountering bed bugs, and I, I travel quite a bit. And um, I was a little bit surprised that I found, you know, bed bugs walking around. I only found like one or two. Um, I think one of them got me, and uh, so I killed them both. And I was there for about a week, and uh, that was that was pretty much the extent of it. And I guess it wasn't too bad because everywhere I've been since, I haven't noticed them in my clothes or my luggage or anything like that. So I was lucky, even though it's sort of strange. But um, some people are not so fortunate. Now, if you have a bed bug problem at home uh, and you want to do something about it, of course you can go the exterminator route, which can be quite expensive. The average exterminator cost for bed bugs. Um, for Americans, can range from a hundred bucks to a thousand bucks, or even more, depending on how bad it is. Um, additionally, a lot of people recommend some questionable, though legal, chemicals to fight bed bugs with. Though I personally like to keep things as natural as possible. So, what I want to offer uh, to you is uh, the link below in this video, and that is to my website, which is called defensiveend.com. And I've been running this website for over the last five years now, helping people get rid of their bed bug problem naturally, safely, effectively, and perhaps most importantly these days, affordably. So you might find some scam products on the internet where they try to charge your credit card every month, or even now exterminators do that. They offer these sort of plans where you pay them every month and maybe they come out, maybe they don't, maybe they help you. You know, it's a crapshoot. But if you come to my website, um, you know, all you have to do, you know, I offer lots of great free information on there to help you learn more about bed bug problems, how to get rid of them. Um, 
But if you want to order a product from me, I am a third-party distributor for one of the best, most established natural bed bug killers in America. Um, and I also help clients all around the world. So all you have to do is go to defensivein.com and go to the order page and just specify uh, the extent of your problem. You know, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, apartment, house, however. And uh, for most people, it's going to cost anywhere from 50 to 100 bucks. Uh, but it's a one-shot deal, and um, this is honestly, in my in my humble opinion, this is the best way to go about getting rid of a bed bug problem. First, without immediately going to an exterminator or trying heat treatment, which can be very expensive. Um, so, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Um, go ahead and check out that link if if you need help with bed bugs uh, on a more personal note, and hopefully, hopefully the next time you go to a Walmart. You won't find a pill bottle full of bed bugs in the changing room, right? We, we can all hope and dream, can't we? All right, thanks for watching this video, and um, I'll see everybody out there again on the next one. Take care.